Have you ever had your tube cushion grip bust, bust out on the bottom? I have been getting a lot of questions. People want to know what the difference between the cushion grip is and the gum guard putty. They, I did a video a couple weeks ago and I used this gum guard putty to make a soft reline for my denture that would come out and you could wash it. I don't know if you saw that video, which by the way, if you're wanting to purchase the gum guard and the shipping is just weird, the price isn't right, it's too high, contact them because they they know that there's a glitch in this and they're using Shopify once in a while there's a glitch. So if you're not liking the shipping price, if it's like $30, $40 and you're in the United States, contact them because there's a problem and they will correct that for you. Okay, so here we go. What's the difference between the cushion grip and the gum guard putty? Which one do I like better? What's the difference? I prefer the gum guard putty over the cushion grip and here is why. When you use the gum guard putty, you take the white, the white and the pink, and you mix them together. Hold on, mix, mix them together. Here's the pink, the pink putty and the white putty, and you mix them together. And then you put it in your denture and it forms around your denture. All right, you're gonna mix this. It, it doesn't take long and it's really soft. What you're going to get is this. This is, I've had this since I did the video, which is months ago. So here you go. I got the gum guard putty and a dry denture. And what we're going to do is just kind of mold that into my denture. Kind of like that. Put it in my mouth there. Kind of like that and put it into my mouth go back a little bit let's see i have a lot more i squeezed right here so hold hold a minute five minutes i'll be back okay let's take it out it's molded to my denture and i could trim anything i want i could just pull it right out of my denture and there I have, I have it, the rubbery, <laughs> the rubbery thing that stays in my denture. So that's the gum guard putty. So let's talk about cushion grip. So I've had my cushion grip soaking in hot water. Here it is. And we're going to put this in my denture. The difference is this will not last. This lasts three to five days. This lasts until you need a new one. That's the difference. You can take this out of your denture and clean it, and you can clean your denture good. This has great hygiene with it. This does not. You cannot take this out of your denture once it's in there. Here, I will show you. So what you do is you get a ball like this. You press the ball in, you know, several different balls around your denture, and then you bite down and hold the same concept as the gum guard putty, but this will eventually like thin out in your denture over time. All right, I'll put a little bit in here. See, you just keep filling your denture up. Same concept, bite down. And then the cushion grip will mold to your gums around here. You can't take it out. You can't clean it. You, you can't. You can't do anything with this. And eventually, you'll have to soak your denture in warm water and peel this out. This has to be peeled out. See, it's still. It's already stuck in my denture. Whereas the putty, it just. It just goes in and out and you put it in your mouth. So there's the difference. Which would I prefer? I would prefer the gum guard putty. That's what I prefer than the cushion grip. And I know the cushion grip is a thermoplastic denture adhesive, whereas the gum guard putty is not thermoplastic. It's, it's a putty material that you mix together and, let's see, put my denture in. I didn't get it all out of there, but, I mean, it's it's all in what you prefer to do. Do you want something that stays and lasts? And then, because when you order a putty, 
you really only have to use half of it and the rest of it you can put in the refrigerator like in a baggie and it'll last quite a while quite a while I, I'll put it up here if I remember to ask but I'm thinking it, oh, a year a good year it'll last in the refrigerator and this you can't reuse this you can't anything once it comes out of your denture you throw it away put new in your denture and you have to do that every couple days so if you're new at extractions the the putty you can get and put in here and your dentures are going to fit great and um, for like maybe a month and then you're going to have to make new putty if you're further along in your process and your gums aren't shrinking so fast like right now i could make me a putty and and just keep the same size and maybe six months make a new one just to make a new one if i wanted to so what do i recommend out of the two i think did i ever say that am i just babbling at this point gum guard the gum guard putty i'll put a link i'll put a link to both of these down below the cushion grip and the gum guard putty and if you're interested go check them out if and again if the shipping is a lot contact them they'll take care of it all right that's the gum guard putty all right i'll see you in my next video Bye.